Hey everyone, Dan here. I had a request to demonstrate how Google Earth integrates with Mace and also uh, how Discord can be a benefit to you. Um, so I set up a mission in my local area with uh, some aircraft and some enemy. Just a quick little mission there. And you can see that I have it visible on Google Earth. So this is a live KML stream that's coming out. Um, so let's go ahead and put the mission in motion here. And you'll see that the uh, the assets update. Um, I have it set to a default of once a second. Uh, that seems pretty reasonable to follow the action. You can probably go a little bit faster, um, but one second seems to be good. So i uh, got a pretty good um, SA tool of everything that's going on and where everyone is. So if I zoom in really close to the range, you can see uh, three friendly vehicles there. Um, you can see the enemy setting up there. I have a uh, F-16 set up for a uh, nine line, and I'm actually going to clear him hot to go do that. So we see him moving to attack. Um, we also get to see the sensor position of the gunship. So uh, we have Spooky 4-2 here. You can see the uh, green line coming out. So I'll bring my Versig over here and I'll move my sensor. And you should see the uh, symbology update with it. Put that on the uh, old tail of the nine. And you'll see that I'm looking in that location. You can either use a, a mouse or you can use a 3D um, controller, like a Space Explorer. I find that to be the uh, best thing to use. Um, so yeah, we can look at the uh, stack laterally, and that's pretty good there. Um, so what I'm also going to do is I have a Discord ready to go. So uh, I have that already configured with my IP and my um, exercise already ready to go. I'm going to hit record, and if I see packets counting up, then that means that uh, we are recording. So I'm going to uh, start transmitting on uh, 125025, and I'm also going to run my quick little script where one of those BTRs makes a radio call. And still transmitting on that. I'm adjusting my script just to make sure I can hear it. And let's see if we have anything. Okay, I see some transmitting on one. All right. And uh, we'll call that good. We can save it to a particular location that we want to use. Um, but what I'm going to do is, let's move uh, Google Earth out of the way. Bring that over here. We're going to stop the mission, create a new mission, just get rid of everything out there. And move my sensor over here. We're going to go to playback mode, and I already have playback enabled here. So now, if I play back on Discord, you'll see that the sensor is updating. And let's see, don't have any. Start transmitting on uh, 125025. And I'm also going to run my quick little script where one of those BTRs makes a radio call.
Okay, I just changed my app number really quick, and that got everybody back there. And still transmitting so we on go. that. We can see the whole activity on uh, Mace, and we're also hearing the radio traffic just on my script. Just to make I'll sure go ahead and change it. my output and to um, what I'm recording down there. Let's see if we have anything. Oh, you're probably already hearing it. Okay. I see some transmitting on 123.0. Okay, and uh, we can zoom in into Maine and see everything that is going on and where everybody is moving. Okay, that's a very quick demonstration, nothing too fancy, um, kind of quick, but uh, you can see the potential of using Start Discord with um, Google Earth and so forth. One last little bit, um, didn't get to loop back around and show you that on Google Earth, if you enable KML on all of your entities, that uh, you get playback on Google Earth. So we can see everything here on, uh, on Mace, but we also see it on Google Earth as well.